I'm back at the 46th Bangkok Motor Show. Now, I just dropped a couple of days ago a video picking out the 16 cars that you should look out for in the show. And I started right over there with that completely insane car, the Gordon Murray T50, just arrived in Thailand. One of just a hundred that's being built and it shocked everyone in Thailand. But on my video of the 16 cars, I just quickly went through a minute on each. And number two, I walked 10 meters over to this, the Terra T63. And I gave you about a minute. Now I have come back and I want to give you 10 minutes just on this car. I want to walk you right round the car. I want to tell you some of the technical details on this car because this is absolutely crazy. This is insane. This is a hugely ambitious project. It's the first step in a huge project to build road and track supercars in Thailand. And you can immediately see this is a pure prototype race car, full carbon monocoque, absolutely everything, no compromise. And I want to go through this and tell you what I know about it because it launched last year in Songkla, the end of last year, the Songkla Grand Prix the PT headline event. And this is built by the same guys, the PT guys. So in Songkla, it was crazy, it was mental, it was hot. There was so much noise, so much light. So many people wanted to see the car. I didn't have time to make any content. Now I want to walk you through this car. It's still a little way off, but I cannot wait to throw you this project. And you need to see and you need to know what's going on because no one has built supercars in Thailand before. I mean, okay, we have the Atam. That was like a crazy thing built in a guy's back shed, basically years and years ago, like a kick car really, but no one has built a supercar in Thailand until these guys, Terra Motor, rocked onto the scene late last year. Don't know a lot about them yet. I haven't been to see their facility, but the car is absolutely epic. And that is making a statement. That is saying we mean business. That is saying we are really serious about building supercars in Thailand. So let's just take a quick walk around it. And then hopefully I'm going to catch up and bring you more content as it goes on the dyno, as it goes testing, and as it goes to the final customer versions, because this is prototype number one. And it is a full carbon monocoque. And you can see it is just pure race designed. The headlight bezels are forged carbon. I really like that. And those lights, the way they're kind of an oval shape almost, it feels like they're piercing the Le Mans night. Absolutely love it. It's got a big race towing eye here. And you can see there's a lot of sophisticated aero. Got the lower splitter. And then we've got another plane above. And it is feeding the aero under the floor. Then it's got the full Le Mans style cockpit, big air exit coming here. The cooling radiators are down here. And if we look in here, forged carbon dashboard contrasts with the carbon weave. Really like that as well. And these big forged carbon mounts holding the mirrors. So let's look at the wheels, the tires and the brakes. And it's got 18 by 10 wheels all round with 280 by 660 R18. Yokohama tires. On the front, we've got AP Racing 5000R six pot calipers with big, massive, vented 370mm discs. Now, if we just jump to the back, on the back, we've got the same wheel tire setup, single hub nut again. We've got the AP Racing Pro 5000R calipers. This time, they're a four pot with a 350mm disc. So, this car, it's going to accelerate fast and it's also going to stop really quick. I cannot get away from these big carbon fiber gull wing doors. They look absolutely epic. And you can see we've got a pull handle to swing it down. And then we've got another handle here to pull the latch open. You can see the latch here and you can see all the carbon fiber parts. Now inside, it's got a race Formula One style steering wheel. It's got a bank of switches angled in there. You can see a couple of air vents on this forged carbon dashboard and it's got a data logger in there. And then just for the record, this runs with Motec ECU M142. The dash is a Motec C125 and it has PDM ECU master. So that's kind of the electronics covered out. And you can see 
it's got a race seat which looks like it's been custom made for the car and then the headrest with a Terra branding in it is actually separate and it's mounted onto that bulkhead that firewall there so it's real pure integrated race seat style and you can also see how low the angle on this the seat is kind of tipped up then you go back a little bit and the door catch is this aluminium catch here with Terra embossed into it. Very, very nicely done. We've got an ATL filler cap, ATL tank in this. Single side exit here, and you can see the clips to lift all the bodywork off have been molded into it. Again, the rear wheels, absolutely great. Big dorsal fin here, and they've got an air exit coming out there. Got narco ducts into the rear here, and narco ducts coming out as well, one in one out a lot of neat features in this then a huge carbon fiber rear wing which got quite a big angle on it and the biggest swan neck mounts you are ever going to see on a race car t63 i should also say is the name it's got the k20c which that's mated up to a sadev six speed sequential pure racing transmission and it's paddle shift operated you can see the paddle shifters in the cockpit down there and then the whole thing is mounted in a transaxial so it's all very compact rear wheel drive of course it should be very reliable and very pokey on the rear you can see on the end plates it's adjustable so all the aero positioning can all be adjusted here and what i really like is this big light bar right across the back in a really bright red and all that molding and contours looks fantastic then we've got a race towing eye. Down here you can see we've got a rain light as well. And these huge underfloor tunnels. I wouldn't even call this a diffuser. This has got sophisticated underfloor aero channeling the air from the front right to the rear. And it comes out in these big tunnels that are dropped away from the carbon fiber body slightly as you do on a race car. Got the Terra in the back on a metal grill really really nicely done if we look at this i mean look at the way that angles round. that is absolutely beautiful it sweeps down the engine cover and then it angles over the rear arches and you can see these narco ducts as well and then this big sweeping wing looks absolutely fantastic i mean every angle i think this looks amazing so i'm just going to try and get around this side show you in the cockpit a little bit more and you can see the other side we have the fuel filler here we've got the air jack on this side and so many aero features and sweeps a big mesh feeding into the radiators there and the air coming out in an all exposed racing style there we should also talk about the carbon fiber because this is carbon fiber prepeg which is basically the top end high performance racing carbon fiber you can get it's more expensive you have to store it at cool temperatures and you need an oven or an autoclave to cure it you cannot just do it at room temperature so this is absolutely no compromise when it comes to all the carbon fiber on this car and actually what i didn't notice when i was walking around before this air exit here it's broken up into a number of panels here this section here like a bezel round there and then it's got two pieces of bolt in so you're going to be able to open all that up if we stand back and look at the car one of the things that surprised me a little bit is the size it kind of feels smaller than it actually is it feels like a really compact agile fun track toy now the dimensions have told me it's four five six eight millimeters long one two one five high and 1796 wide, which basically in layman's terms is around about 90% of the size of a World Endurance hypercar. Wheelbase is 2750 millimeters, the track is 1490 millimeters, and the ground clearance is 70 millimeters. So this is riding low. You do not want to be taking this over any speed humps. Just want to have a quick look at what they're talking about because here they talk about the car. And it's basically everything is being built in-house without any compromise. And they want to blend the idea of Le Mans race cars with supercars to create something really special on the road. And that's the exciting thing. Their goal, as they say, is nothing short of revolutionary. They're not just building racing cars like this, track cars like this. They want to build road legal cars, each one custom built for individual customers, taking personalization to entirely new level man these guys have got really really big ideas going on so what else can i tell you about this car just before i finish a couple more things this is the prototype the first one 
they have built. It hasn't been on track yet, it hasn't done anything yet. It made its debut in Songkla last year. We actually brought it to you briefly, but it was so crazy there. You couldn't get into the depth on it, couldn't get into the detail. Anyway, this is prototype number one. It's around about 950 kilograms, the team tell me. And the K20C turbo in the back there is pretty stock. I think they've got a fairly stock K20C with a bit of a bigger turbo and probably operated headers, that kind of thing. So it's going to put out about 350 horsepower. That's their target when they drop it on the dyno straight after the show. But when this car is finished, the final itineration ready to deliver to customers will knock 50 kilos off. So it'll be around about 900 kilos and the engine will put out about 500 horsepower. That's the targets they're looking at. So we're talking a 500 horsepower engine in a 900 kilogram car. This is gonna be an absolute rocket. Exciting project, a lot of ambition, a lot of clever people involved in this project. So stay tuned because after this event, it's going on the dyno and I'll go along and see it on the dyno. And then after that, it's gonna have its first track test because so far it hasn't been anywhere yet. It's just been a static model. So I'm gonna head along for the track test. So hopefully within the next month or so, you're gonna find a lot more content of this car actually in action, actually doing the works on my YouTube. So stay tuned. But for now, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Thanks for getting this far. If you like this video, please hit the like button. But for now, I'm done. See you soon.